Grade 8, welcome to Lesson 6.7, Order of Operations with Integers, found on page 204 of your textbooks, and the goal is to apply the rules for order of operations with integers. You've been doing order of operations for a while now, we're just adding in integers and the rules we've been learning the past couple of days, so nothing too difficult. We're just incorporating with order of operations. Okay, and we continue. First of all, Different types of brackets can be used to make it easier to match the beginning and end of brackets. So you'll notice square bracket here, all right? And this is differentiating this itself from the circle brackets on the inside. Notice where it starts and ends here, and there's a different set. So you'd be working on this first and then working outward, okay? I have an example that we'll be going through. Now, just in case you want to take this example down, should be pretty simple. Just raise that for you. Here you go. Copy this example down because we'll be running through it. Okay. So we're going to be completing this question um, for the rest of this video. So let's continue. But first, the expression that is written in fraction form. This is a fraction form, but it's not complete yet. We have to work everything out first. Uh, can be evaluated by dividing the final value of the numerator, numerator by the final value of the denominator. Okay, so you're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, but this has to get finished first. So let's finish it. Now, this example is taken directly from the textbook. All right, and so is this example. So you can see it in front of you. Okay, but I'd like you to copy this down and work through it as well. All right, so. This is directly from the textbook, and again, here it is broken down. Here is the example. Now, first, in red, start by determining the value of the numerator. You start here first. So you're going to work on one side, top, or bottom. Can you call it a side? Side to left and right, maybe? Regardless, you're going to be working on the top of the numerator. Sorry, the top of the fraction, which is the numerator. All right? Uh, you will determine the value first. So first of all, you calculated what's in the innermost bracket. So again, you're starting here, okay? You're going to start with this operation first, all right? And when you work with this operation, 4 minus negative 5, it's like saying 4 plus 5 because there's two negatives there, 9. So this becomes 9 times negative 7. Boom, there it is, okay? Then, I calculated what's in the square bracket. So now you're working on this. So nine times negative seven, you have only one negative there. Unlike terms, it becomes negative 63. So nine times negative seven, okay, becomes negative 63, okay? Because remember, unlike brackets, negative, uh, negative there, positive there becomes a negative number. All right, what's left? What's left here? He says I divided. What would you divide? Well, you divided 6 divided by negative 3. Again, unlike terms, 6 divided by negative 3 will give you negative 2. All right, so follow along here. Everything in red is what's happening here. Then I, cal I added to calculate the numerator. So you have negative 2 plus negative 63. Negative 2 plus negative 63. As we were talking in class before, you're moving on the number line. If you are adding two negative numbers, it's like you're working to the left. You're going left on the number line. Okay, and it gives you negative 65. So 2 negative 2 plus negative 63 will give you negative 65. Well, what's left? I subtracted to calculate the denominator. Right here is what's next. 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5, we're left with negative 1. And finally, finally, that's a rock for those of you following along at home. Anyway, finally, the answer is 65. So negative 65 divided by negative 1, those are like terms. Negative, negative gives you a positive number. Okay, And there's no need to put the sign there, because when there's no sign, it means it's positive. 
boom, there it is. All right, pretty simple stuff. This is in your calculator. calculator. This is in your textbook. So copy this example down. You don't need to copy this down. Okay, but copy this down and work through it. You want to put the colors in? Great, do it. If not, it's fine too. Just work through this. And after you finish copying this, I would like you to prepare for the next day by working on number four in the textbook found conveniently on page 206. And it was even more convenient is just in case you didn't bring your textbook home, I provided all the questions for you. So, 1, A, B, C, and D. Have these questions prepared, finish them, try them, do them, do it. For tomorrow, I will check these. We'll talk about any questions, any issues, any concerns you might have, and we're good to go. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Go back, pause it, take notes, especially in the first slide, okay? Make sure you get this down for sure, but that's also t found in your textbook. So get this down, copy this, work through it using the example, okay? And then prepare with these questions for tomorrow, okay? Thanks, we'll talk.